we just got the keys got the to keys. our new house. Sitting outside right now. We're moving. We're moving again. again. <laughs> this well, one's a little different though. Yeah, we're excited to show y'all the place. So. Alrighty. So it begins. And so she begins. The pot is, the pot is here. We're nut jobs. Alright. Well. What have we done? No, actually, I'm so excited. We're so excited. Feels so right, honestly. I feel like all these decisions, these moving and house decisions, they seem crazy, but they feel so right. They're not crazy to us. They feel no, not totally crazy good to all. us. <laughs> I know, probably observing, it seems like a lot, but uh, everything has lined up so perfect that we couldn't, we couldn't have asked for a better situation and setup. Like we're so thankful for how things have unraveled and definitely. how they're unrolling and like the opportunities that are being created with all these moves and. I know. Um, they're really good investments and we're just excited for the projects ahead. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. We enjoy it And I feel like the timing with the baby like everything's kind of lining up perfect. Totally. You know, um, I started to put together some Little plans for the townhouse. My breakfast burritos here <laughs> We just got back from the gym getting some fuel and we're strapping up strapping in starching up Ready for this process to begin. Start up. Let's go. Let's go baby. Fresh energy fresh house like i don't know yeah it feels good it feels so good except i have to say our backyard is looking stunning here right now here, at this here. Place. now that spring is here and the weather's nice obviously we're outside leaves are on the trees there's grass it's and turning it's green gorgita. the weather's great i know we're like dang it we're like, of course like it's starting to feel green and fresh I and like know. a uh, wonderland totally it feels like we're like in snow white or something like that yes we should show the backyard yeah but. all right let's go Look how peaceful and pretty this is. Zen. Booker, you love it? Booker, isn't it so gorgeous out here? Look at it. All the trees and leaves are coming to life. Oh it's like a, I mean, this is pretty like magical. Don't you think? Yeah. It's, it's gonna be even, out of Snow White. it's gonna be even more magical when this house is done. And I it has know. like the outdoor fireplace right here. I know. Like this porch will be, be redone. Sick. We'll have like an arbor over us right now. Oh my god. And it's I'm gonna be a dream. We're gonna fence in the backyard. It's be gorgeous. I'm loving the way the black Adirondack chairs look against the green grass. I know. So gorgeous. When we moved here it was winter and just like everything was dead and grey and I don't know. It looks so pretty. Booker's always found the beauty in the backyard. Yes he has. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. We just finished a nice workout. It was so early because we're trying to go to this furniture sale today, which we're gonna take you to, but we had to hit a 7.45 workout on a Saturday. We sometimes go to the 7.30 class on weekdays, but 7.45 for some reason on a Saturday is so Brutal. hard to get to. Oh, so tired, I'm still tired. We went to a furniture store, it opens at nine. Yeah. And it's only once a month, so we want to be there early because you can buy things off the floor and we want to make take sure them. we get to shoot our shots yes so we're obviously moving in this week and we need all of our furniture so we're gonna go check this sale out we've heard we've never been it's um, called envision design and it's sort of like if you're local to the area like Sarah sells but not as like farmy it's a little bit more modern style yeah. furniture so we're just gonna go check it out see if we find anything we haven't even planned our movers we haven't oh planned God. the move whatsoever we're a hot mess we are a hot mess and are we're just surprised? trying to get things <laughs> established and set up so we're just now beginning to think about it we've kind of put it aside and it's the reason we've done that kind of this is the first time we're moving to a new place where we don't have to be out of our house like as soon as possible there's not a new buyer coming in yeah it's really like flex and relaxed and we're kind of going with that I the think. only thing rushing us really is trying to get settled before this baby yeah. comes um which is our motivation so it's sort of a weird position to be in um but it's nice and, and relaxing that we don't have to be out but to like be self-motivated yeah yeah we're kind of being a little lazy with it right now we need to kind of really get it in check and yeah, like we do. start going so mama needs a coffee too and a little snack all right gas is finished okay Sale started at nine. It's nine oh five. So hopefully, I don't know if it's like a big line. But I'm not sure, but I can't. I'm too pregnant to be like competing with bitches out here for furniture. You know what I mean? All right, we went. We went to the furniture store and it was super loud in there. They were had a DJ. So we're in the new place. Yes. And it's empty. This was the model home that we actually gave y'all a tour of in what a couple videos ago when we were looking around at different apartments and yeah. rentals. We're trying to look for furniture and it's just. 
you know, you have to make sure everything's gonna fit because you don't wanna mess up, so. We've, we were at the furniture place, it was super loud in there, like we said, but we found a couple pieces we like, and you wanna just like snatch them, yeah. but you you're like, make sure okay, that they fit. gonna fit, so. Yeah. We're here to blue tape and measure. Yes. And, We're kind of um, like basically like draw it out to see how big we can go on certain things and it'll give us more of a visual, so. Okay, so we've got this area taped out. This is the rug size that we're thinking, nine by 12. So we put just mapped it out. Now obviously all of the furniture will be on the rug, so it's not like it's gonna be spilling out over. So that's the condensed living area. I think if anything, we shift the rug this way. I don't know. It's just hard with interiors because you kind of can't tell until you're in here. You start having pieces. But I, everything needs to be on that rug, I think. Unless it's on this side, it can't be spilling off a bit. 96 so that would fit all right this is what we've come up with so far well it's not what we've come up with it's what <laughs> if we went the sectional route we're trying to measure what that would look like and we're not so sure we want to do a sectional in here we can't decide so this is sort of we've measured out a 9 by 12 rug the coffee table we want and potential couch that we would like and then we would do a chair right here so we're just trying to get a feel for the vibe the only thing is that we would probably have to shift this a little bit that way so we have more space here because this is starting to get pretty narrow for our little dining area and then bar stools. So we don't know, you guys. We're, this is tough for us because it's a smaller space than we're used to. Well, it's also tough. We don't have any pieces right now here with us. Right. So it's hard to just visualize it with tape. It is. This is what we, um, Hunter and I were saying that we don't love about interiors is that we love to like try things it's all about feel and you have to kind of like put things in and get an idea you see it visually yeah. in person. and you can't do that with furniture like it'd be so amazing if you had 40 pieces out in the front yard and you oh. bring them in and trying things we love a trial and error and you just can't really do that with furniture um well you can it's just such a hassle such like a hassle. what do you gotta buy a couch to try it i know i know mama juge is Tired and hungry, so I think we're gonna go grab some lunch. Most of the bar stools are in. I know. You kind of have to go. We should definitely get a bar stool to that top. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go long and skinny. I know. I want. We want to find an oval table. I'd love to find an oval marble table. Oh wait, we took measurements of that one oval. Yeah. Check it out. Perfect little spot for the camera for vlogs and stuff. So exciting. All right, y'all, I rented a U-Haul yesterday and we hired bolt movers for two or three hours today to come help us load the U-Haul with an, a first batch of furniture that we planned on taking to the house. Just some, just one couch, a couple things. Uh, we're gonna try it out to see if it'll fit. Um, and if not, we'll put it back in the U-Haul and bring it to the pod that we have in our driveway. And the pod is gonna come pick it up and take it to storage. So uh, we're making leeway and uh, we'll show you when we get to the house once it's all set up to see if these items work or not. See you there. All right, we showed y'all where the tape and stuff was yesterday and we're now coming to fit some of the pieces in here and see if it's gonna work. And we're gonna try one of our Jenny Kane couches which was at our current house and see how it works. And we're still considering the section, so we'll see. All right. So happy. Looks really good. Guys, we thought that we were gonna need to buy all new furniture for this place. We were like, oh, it's not gonna work. It was a mental puzzle trying to cherry pick which items out of our cabin that were gonna work here. Yeah. And we're really it came lucky. together like perfectly. I mean, like, the, it's the color palette we're going for for this place. Light and creamy. Yeah. And beigey and just. So we we're able to make like old pieces work, new yes. pieces work. We've um, all these pieces like since our Lono house. Yeah, and then we'll need to find a little kitchen table. Yeah. And then some bar stools that will slide underneath the bar, I just kind of get out of the way. I think I have some good ones. The um, we want to go, well, we were thinking marble table, but we'll see. We'll see what we do. I know. It can't be wood. Wood, yeah. Too there's much wood already too much wood. Maxed out on wood. Yeah. 
But um, I, I also think at some point we'll probably that. get a new coffee table. Yeah. But this works right now. Yeah. It looks very like beachy, Australian. I know. Just it looks nice. It looks really good it in here. It does. And, and then we got this planter. We're gonna get a tree in here. Yes, we're getting a tree. This is the most disorganized move we've ever done. But actually, yeah. it was kind of the lowest stress. Oh, yeah, it's true. Because we didn't really care, and we were just like, okay, let's bring a few things over and try it, mm -hmm. and just hire some guys, and then. But it was clutch having the pod in the U-Haul. That was really. What? Hold this real quick. Yeah. I'm curious what this would look like because we were hoping we were wanting initially to do an oval table. That's why I'm on the Yeah. On the I think it's too big. But I wonder if we did do something where it was like more square on. Square. And then I know. We could have we could have those chairs down. This in edges. Squares, and then you could bring them out when there's more people over. Yeah. Yeah. True. Because they'd probably end up being like right here. We could get something long and skinny. It just can't be the table we It have. has to be like really narrow though. You know? You know, but I'm saying that it does, it does work. Yeah. Like if space wise. Kind of looks better square on actually. And then we could, we could bring those other two chairs. Over. I mean, it has to be like a tiny table. <laughs> the thing is, I do think we bring those other two chairs over anyways. Just to have as backup? Well, to have like if, like a lot of times when we have people over, it's usually like two other couples. I know. And so we could keep those two chairs down in the garage. And yeah. We bring them up anytime people are over. Okay, that's a good idea. Because honestly, if it's like this, would this stick out too far? It's not terrible. We just have to find the right table. It just has, it almost has to be a custom table. It's got to be really narrow and skinny. I mean, it could be a custom You could combined. do that. It's like, you're kind of creating like two sitting areas in a way. Yeah. I wish the chairs were a little smaller. It could be better if we had smaller chairs. Yeah, we can play but around we with can it. always play around with it. I mean, it doesn't look terrible like that. No, it doesn't. There's plenty of room. Trial I mean, and error. It would have to be a pretty narrow. It would, like literally a two foot table. Yeah. My work. But I mean, we, you could do an oval if if the oval sat over these. Yeah, it, it has to slide under. Yeah. They have to tuck. They don't, they don't slide under. It's just this worries me. That feels so. I mean, I guess it's just the layout you're working with, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we'll figure this out later. We gotta go do our second load with the movers. Um, okay, I wanted to hop on here really quickly and take a little pause. Hunter is back at the cabin helping the movers. I just had to shoot a couple things for work, so I had to put some makeup on, get myself together, and I'm about to go back over there and meet him to finish up. But um, we just talked to our team over at Seed and they're giving us the biggest discount ever, 40% off of your first month, which I've literally never even heard them do. We normally only have 15% like year round, and one time they've done 30%, so 40% is by far the biggest code they've ever done. It's only for a limited time though. Um, so I wanna make sure that you guys got the hookup. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to try this. We take it every day, two per day on an empty stomach. I already took mine for the morning cause this stuff keeps me regular and healthy so I don't miss it. Um, but it's basically their DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic which is a prebiotic and a probiotic combined together. We take it every day and usually before the gym or sometimes after the gym is a good time. You can also take it at night. It's just gonna help you with your overall gut health, uh, keeping you regular, your immunity, your mental health. Your gut health is pretty much just the center of your entire system and it affects your mental health, your immunity, your digestion, sleep, everything. It's just of the whole system. So you wanna make sure that you're feeding it good bacteria. A lot of Americans don't have the best gut health. So that's why I think probiotics have become such a huge part of the health community. Um, and Seed by far is backed with the most research. They have so much information on their Instagram. They also have a Seed University, which if you wanna learn more about why they specifically um, are backed in their science so much. You can go on there and kind of go through the university. Hunter and I have done it just so you can really understand what this does for your system and why you're taking it. But um, it's a really good high quality product and we travel with it. You've seen it in our travel vlogs. It's really easy to travel. They send you a travel vial. This is the regular vial, um, but they also give you a mini one the first time that you sign up and then they just deliver the capsules every month and you can just refill your container so you're not wasting a bunch of um, 
extra glass or waste throwing anything away very eco-friendly they've got it all figured out so um the code is going to be jh40 for your 40 percent off we'll also have that down below just in case you forget um but i would get on that because 40 i mean that's basically half off guys but anyways okay i need to get back to moving and um take advantage of that code while you can and i just wanted to let you guys know about the hookup crazy <laughs> Fancy, we're here. All right, y'all. We are wiped. We oh, are. Nice. Look at that light. This light is legit. Okay. It is nighttime, as you guys can see. We have been moving all day while our movers have been helping us move furniture. I showed on Instagram, but I busted up my finger. He did. My nail is purple and black, so we poked it with a needle. A needle. And let it drain. Mm -hmm. Feels better, but it's. I still can't really bend it. This is where I can bend it. Anyway, Anyways, we've been moving all day and we went to get one final load tonight. Our pillows. Yep. And our bedding sheets bedding because sheets. mattresses are here, beds are here and everything. So we're literally just coming back here to sleep and then we have to go back tomorrow and finish the rest of our move. But um, we have Booker with us and he hasn't seen the new place yet. So we're so curious so, how he's going to react. And this is our first night sleeping here. So this is us walking into our house. Yes. First night the in first the new night place. We're you know what's hilarious Feels special. is that earlier in this vlog we were like, oh yeah, we hired the movers to come bring a few pieces to see if they'll fit. Yeah. And then like it started getting in there and we were like, we love it, like keep it coming. We were like, let's do another load. Let's do another load. And then we basically finished the move. Yeah. Other than like our kitchen stuff, which yeah. we're going to go through tomorrow. Yeah. And our clothes from our closet. Yes. But really... Everything Other else than is that, done. all the furniture is like squared away. So from for the move, yeah. from house to house, like yeah. you still have to go and buy certain things and totally. find, find pieces. But totally. the move itself is like just about completed. We were so unorganized. We were just like, yeah, can you guys, sure. are you guys available for a few hours? Maybe move a couple things over, and we're like, we'll just start to like put a couple things at the house, and then we just were like, let's just do the whole thing. And the whole thing thing. The whole thing thing, and it just happened. So I did it. Okay, so let's go. I brought some Elmer T. Lee. Nice. My favorite bourbon. Bourbon. And I also bought, brought one of my newer favorite bourbons, a Midwinter Night's Dram. And I'm on a little poor little celebration. That one's good. I like that one actually. Yeah. A little celebration. I'll put it sip. Hand, but... Cute. And uh, hit the hay. Oh, I would kill for a glass of iced lemonade right now. That's like my third trimester craving. Let's do it. Where do we get it though? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Oh, I'm too tired. We, we live close to things now. I know. We've never lived like this close to like walkable things. No, we can like walk to coffee, you guys. It's so exciting. It's gonna be a whole new world. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's, let's go get some lemonade. Let's go to the townhouse. No, let's get lemonade. Oh, right now? Yeah, let's go. You want it? Okay. Let's do it. Perfect. Okay. Little lemonade run, pregnancy run. Be is right there back, a good Bojangles. bottle of lemonade? Is it really only Minute Maid? Is there no other brand? Well, there must be, but I don't know. I'm I'm a little new to the lemonade game since I've been pregnant, so. I haven't had that many cravings um, this pregnancy, but lemonade, iced lemonade in the third trimester is definitely one of them. Oh, so good. Oh, yes. Okay, so they have lemonade here. Oh, what's that? Oh, should we get that and then a cup of ice? <laughs> so <excited. laughs> Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What do you think? This is your new home. You're gonna love it here. You're gonna love it here. You're gonna watch everybody. Watch. <laughs> what was that? One of your uh, bourbon cups, shoot. Oh, I have too many things in my hands. Sorry. That's okay. I just, it's more about the glass. I know, I have the broom, I have the broom. Mother um, ever. All right. You got a I got it. Oh, Our lemonade's falling out, we're a mess. This is... This is when Juju breaks down. Hi. No, 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 Booker. Lay down, lay down right here. Of course. Fancy clumsiness is a real thing. 
Yeah, you've never really been a clumsy person. It's like no. You've been so clumsy. So clumsy. It's like significant. But you know what? Alright. Are you smelling everything? Trying to figure it out. Just now, no, it's not. Next we do our bourbons and our lemonades. Oh my gosh. So the gas station had so they had this lemonade. Never tried it, but I'm sure it will hit. And look at the cubes. Look at the cubes. Perfect texture. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. Oh yeah. Good shit. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, with the ice. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what you were doing yesterday. You got lemonade at Jimmy John's. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Oh my god. Wow. You know what's good? Ice lemonade. Hmm. Is Eatsies. Mm. That's the best. The best. That's the freaking best. The best. The ice is like slivers. Oh my god. Slivers. Sand B. It's so good. It's so fire. Wow. God, I bet that tastes good pregnant. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know what that is. That's actually like. what I thought of when I was thinking about it in the car. I was thinking of the ICs. Man, this really just gives you that, that little, like, mm -hmm. mm. that good feeling, you know, mm -hmm. on the sides of your mouth or mm, clipped. <laughs> mm, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's so good. The Minute Maid lemonade is actually pretty good, too. Yeah, you want to explore, but you're too nervous, I think. Are you nervous to build the ground by yourself? You can go adventure by yourself, we trust you. To the little guitar and lemonade hour. Are you trying to be in the band? It's funny because we knew when we came in here to look at it, we were like, we gotta get this. Mm -hmm. We went for it, we did it. It's a feeling, you just know. You know when you know. Are you helping me too? Did you wait? <laughs> I can't use my pointer right now, so I'm having to mm. play my notes differently. This is fun. Yeah, it's so fun. I'm so happy. I'm gonna grab some more spots of the car. Alright, play some tunes and my fingers feel better. First night, sleeping at the new place. How'd you feel? Did you love it? How'd you feel? At first, I was getting really nervous because he would like sit and watch all the cars drive by and was barking at the cars. I know. I think he thought it was like, you know, like when a mailman pulls in our driveway at the old house or the cabin? Excited. Yeah, he like it was like the only time he would really see a car nearby. And now he sees them all day. No, he's like, and he's like, who's coming over? Who's coming? He's gonna be overstimulated for a while until he gets used to it. You're not a city dog. You're not a city but dog. But you will be. Teach you. You're a nymph That's what you are. He's like, I wanna go back to the, the sticks. <laughs> the <laughs> log. Like, I wanna go back to the cabin. This is my log. All right. Good afternoon. What's up? Moving day. I don't even know. We kind of stopped vlogging the other day and we just wanted to power through the move. But now we're kind of on our final day at the cabin. Mm -hmm. Just clearing out, deciding what's trash, what's storage, what's going to the house. Basically, we had some movers come and they did all of the big furniture pieces. And then Hunter and I were like, we'll just do all the little stuff this time by ourselves. So kitchen, bathrooms. Anything Books. like remaining outside of furniture, basically, we were like, we'll just take care of it. Little so, decor pieces, stuff like that. It is taking a hot minute, though. I will say. We got Jimmy good, John's though. for lunch, and it's hitting so hard. We're hoping to get through the rest of the house today, but we'll see. We went to F45 this morning, so I'm feeling a little tired. I'm hoping this fuel helps me get a second wave of energy. I need All right. Oh, no, I'm flashing red. We're... Clearing out the bathroom, but look what I found when I was clearing out the bathroom. My pregnancy test. Oh, so weird. Like I didn't know that I kept this. And I remember 
being so nervous when I took this test. Like, it's like, obviously we were trying to get pregnant, but I don't think anything can come prepare you for that moment when you look at it and it's positive and you're like, oh my gosh, like a baby is coming, you know, God willing, everything is healthy and nothing happens and everything. But it just made me like emotional seeing it because it's been such a journey and I feel like such a different person from the moment that I took this to now already. And I actually was like, I don't know if you guys have been along this channel for a while. Last year was a pretty tough year for me, 2022, like mentally. I don't know what I was going through. It was just a hard time. And I was just, I don't know, having just like a lot of stress and I don't know, just going through like a big transitional time, figuring out like who I was and um, working through a lot of like, stuff I started therapy it was just like a big transformational year and I was really just having a tough time and I remember when I found out I was pregnant it just gave me this whole new purpose and really kind of like snapped me out of like a little bit of a darker downtime and I am so grateful for that and I just feel like it's such a bless like this baby's such a blessing and really has catapulted me into the next phase of my life as like a female and a woman and not saying like without hunter and i obviously our marriage and everything but just specifically what i was going through um if anyone can relate yeah i just have this whole new i just feel like i'm stepping into a new version of myself and it just it's cool to see throughout pregnancy how you already begin to do that because you're like mentally preparing you're you know just living outside of yourself you have something else that you're focusing on and it's really special it just starts to sort of enter a new zone and i just can't imagine like how it's going to feel when the baby's actually here but it just made me like i don't know like almost like want to cry like seeing it i don't know why it just like makes me emotional um and excited so um that was a cool surprise to find <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm actually, well, probably hormonal, but not that hormonal, but it's just sweet. So, anyways, um, thought I would share that with you guys. Oh, man. I'm cl we're close to being done, and we're like, we're tired. We are tired. It's like kind of nice to do it just this year, though, in a way. Because I feel like really good with things. That's it. Okay. Another cabinet done. Cabinet in the books. I'm beat. I am B E A T. Maybe I'm going to start with Cholula. Wow, what an era that we have. I know. We had fun here. We did have fun. Done these cold patches. Oh, that's a fun game. Uh, more lemonade. Mmm. So good. Boom. Oh my god, my feet hurt. Ow. That is one thing. Being pregnant and being on your feet all day. Like, your feet and your ankles and your calves. Oh, they just like hurt differently than normal. Yeah. All right, folks, we are closing up shop for today. We have been here since like 10.30 a.m. and it's almost six o'clock, so we're pretty burnt. My feet hurt so bad, I think I'm maxing out, but we did a ton and we probably just have a couple more hours to do tomorrow. And I think we'll be all done. So we are toast. Lots of progress, but yeah. T O. Hunter especially is doing a lot of heavy. A S T. Lifting. Yeah. Oh, but it feels good. Saved us a lot of money. Anything else going on in the U Haul? Uh, Should we put that black thing from the laundry room in the U Haul and like put it in the um, garage or anything? Maybe. Or like for underneath or the TV. That in the pod. No, nothing can go in the pod. Did you lock the pod, by the way? No. How does I have the lock right here? It says right at that pod back. 
And we're probably at 21. That's always how pods work, I feel like. That's how storage works in general. You just forget about the stuff that you store, and then you're like, why did I even store it in the first place? I'm not even using any of it. Or I don't even want it now. Alright. Okay. I'm done this long. I'm gonna have to pick up the pod in like minutes. Okay, empty, empty, empty. We just got some miscellaneous stuff. This we're bringing all of our art to storage. Um, this we still need to pack up, so this we'll come back for tomorrow. All these clothes are for my closet sale, so that will be coming in September actually. Just got a couple more things in the hall we gotta get up. This is pretty much empty. Closet's empty. I can turn that light off. There go. This room's pretty much empty. We just gotta get those lamps to storage. Oh, we've got some Brook Lemon stuff. Oh, perfect. I'll bring those to the new house. Uh, this is empty. And it's just like little, just a remaining sweep, but most of the rooms, all the shelves are clear and everything, so that was the biggest portion and it's looking pretty good and then just gotta do laundry items and some stuff in here and the um, primary suite is pretty much all empty this is all for my closet sale all that stuff so we just got to bring that into the other room but we made tons of progress so going home gotta get some dinner and yeah, we'll just come back tomorrow to finish everything. But pantry is pretty much empty. That was a hefty one. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Actually, pantry's pretty easy. I got the pulley sticks. Yeah, I already have a bag at the house, so. Okay. But uh, yeah, I got another one. Anything else that we want to transport? Which like, it would need to be like that block thing in there. I don't know if I can. Just that I have the this in the way, so I have to like carry it sideways. Perfect. Bada bing. The bump just gets in the way of carrying things. This is our little U-Haul. Just push everything in the back here. Yeah. We are wiped. We are not okay. It's 8.40. We both took showers at like 7. And laid in bed until 8.30. And door dressed pizza. Pizza, salad, and pasta. But we're so wiped. Wiped and we got like to a hangry point. We were so we were both laying in bed at like 7.30. Showered and we were like, where's the food? <laughs> we're so tired. So um, we couldn't even go like out to get anything. We were like, no. We were planning on it. And then we were like, screw that. I unloaded the whole U-Haul. So that's done, which is good. We we're gonna do that in the morning, and I was just like, "F that, let's just let me knock it Get out." Get it done. There's crap everywhere, but mm -hmm. it's okay. We're gonna sort it out. We're just trying to get everything over here, so we can organize it. Yeah, I okay. wouldn't have done that. Like, I would have liked to just like bring it in and place it where it belongs. I know. But the fact that we only have that U-Haul until tomorrow, we don't really have time to just like be chill. No, we just wanna be done with it. One week, I feel like, but mm -hmm. we're only two people. And last moves that we've had, we've had the movers pack, pack everything, everything, like the kitchen and stuff. Boy, does that make a difference! It really does. I but mean, kitchen and closet alone is like a full day. Uh huh. A full day. But, but it least, sounds ridiculous. Like I wouldn't believe it if I heard that either. But when you get into it, it's like it takes a lot, a lot of effort and energy and back and forth and mm -hmm. the nice thing is is that when it's your stuff because it's us packing our stuff like we can go through it and like organize and like we ended up setting a ton of stuff aside to donate and like things you can really like comb through everything and make sure you're only bringing exactly what you want that and you um, don't get here with 200 boxes exactly that then you're like well wait i probably it's almost like a declutter so we're decluttering at the same time. Mm -hmm. so. Which was the goal. Mm -hmm. Which I'm happy about. Mm -hmm. We've eliminated a lot. A lot. Donations. A lot of trash. 
A lot of trash, a lot of donations. And then storage, the pod. Mm -hmm. We only brought over like, what, a fourth of our furniture? Mm-hmm. And we sold a lot of our furniture before we even moved to the cabin. Mm hmm We have a storage in it, and then we have a pod. So. We really downsized our belongings, which is so nice. Mm-hmm. We were saying like it's so nice to be in a smaller place that's like more minimal. We love it and we don't want to acquire <laughs> too much more. We're done. We're like so deadbeat. I'm gonna go to bed right after this. We're gonna finish eating. I'm gonna brush our teeth, put on the nighttime eye cream. Mm-hmm. Go to bed. No alarm. But we'll be up at six. I mean I've been so tired at night, almost like overly tired where it's like hard to go to, not mm -hmm. hard to go to sleep. Like I'm, my body is completely exhausted, but then I like have to calm down. So it's just like so much. Reading at night has helped me yeah. fall asleep. And usually my mind doesn't turn off. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next video. Next moving vlog part two, which will be getting settled in this place. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, me too. I'm yeah. looking forward to being able to watch that video and knowing that everything's done. <laughs> I know, right? Whew. All right. We'll see you all next time. Love you. Love you. Adios. Bye.